I'm a Comcast customer victimized by a long-standing pattern of fraud and deception employed by Comcast to explain away recurring phone and internet outages. As a last resort, I appeal to the class action bar and fellow Comcast victims to review this matter and consider appropriate action. My interest is not in litigation or becoming a plaintiff. My daily Comcast outages have been ongoing for years. I want them to stop. Florida Governor Rick Scott does not believe government should regulate business. Comcast is without apparent oversight. In the past, outrageous conduct by a national company like Comcast would have triggered a congressional investigation. Today, Congress concerns itself with special interests and the differences between tea and crumpets. Comcast customers' only hope is to seek an investigation and an appropriate class action. For years, Comcast insisted my service outages were due to problems in my home. Now, Comcast admits the problems are in its system. Still, the outages continue. I suggest that Comcast has in place a system to deceive customers into believing Comcast problems are temporary and excusable. Our recurring outages stem from Comcast's unwillingness to upgrade its system and make necessary expenditures. Comcast stock and bondholders are also victimized. Comcast systemic problems lower the quality of the assets underlying Comcast securities. Over the years, I accepted all of Comcast's excuses. An historical analogy will give perspective. In the first Gulf War, U.S. warplanes destroyed a chemical weapons factory in Iraq. Saddam Hussein bust reporters to the site. A sign in English read, Baby Milk Factory. The deception did not fly. To make excuses for bad service, Comcast may have engaged the same PR firm used by Saddam. Well, Comcast, your excuses don't fly anymore.